all right what's going on everyone uh welcome back to the channel today we are going to go check out a buddy's truck we're going to go to his place and help him pull his g56 out of his fourth gen uh the other week when he's coming back from rudy's he lost his clutch so he drove about 45 minutes through the actual city of charlotte with no clutch so he is basically starting and stopping the truck in gear so it should be pretty fun makes it so nice One and a half cools cut out of the front, five inch factory blocks out of the rear, 22 by 12s. It just makes for the greatest turning mobility, boys. Well, you're probably gonna get some wind noise because I got the windows down because it's a beautiful day. <laughs> second gen for too long that'll be on the channel we bring it out lovely thing back a lot I got that dang workbench on the front you know what I mean <laughs> It's a new Tesla model. We won't tell you, Elon. Got no clutch left. This is Matt. Alright guys, so little tip trick, there's a little slide on the clutch pedal that the rod goes through the firewall. If you pull that back, you can start your truck with no clutch. A lot of people short that out, doesn't matter. What I'm doing right now, I'm at four low. Let's take it, it puts pressure on it. You go in gear, if you look around, we're moving. I don't have any slave slitter on the truck right now. So whenever you're looking at the clutch assembly on the driver's side, that rod right there. So there's a little slide. You reach up in there and pull it backwards and you can make the truck crank with no clutch. Tick, tick, tick. So really interrupted by right. So I've done this multiple times. Cause it's a G56. It's a piece of junk. Just kidding. Uh, I don't bolt my stuff back down. Cause I know it's coming back <laughs> up. Just... So this pops right up in there. Got little metal tabs. 
Easiest way to do is get your shotgun shell out of the way and put that up there. Nice, nice. Yeah, 410. Right. Leave it on one. Pull that up. That way you can pull this whole piece up. It just snaps together. Sounds like you're breaking some stuff, but you're not. Pull that out of the way. And there's a bolt on the four-wheel drive right here. Can you see that? Look, that thing wasn't even tight. Hey, don't tell them my secrets, okay? <laughs> I don't slam <laughs> four-wheel drive gear. No, not at all. Just like that, she comes out of there. Set that off to the side. We don't need this. What is this doing? Again, boys, this is why you go 48 or 47. <laughs> hey, man, it's mission, son. <laughs> all right, and then this pulls out. There's two, I think it's 14 millimeter bolts on the gear knob. Two bolts. So this is an extended weighted gear knob. Can't remember who I bought it from offline. Found it on Facebook. Cause I broke mine. I'm not gonna say what I was doing when I die. <laughs> uh, I need some. If you don't have pocket tools, are you really living life? Look at you, little guy. I even put locking nuts on there. Mm, nylon fancy. Nuts. Nylon nuts. Fancy. They don't bag out. By God. <laughs> Me. Always put your bolts back together. If not, you lose stuff. How would you know that? Ask me how I know. Yeah, right. Ask me how I know. Oh, that's good work. Oh, let me hold your knob, sir. <laughs> oh, this is, this is a real G56 guy right here. You know, that little guy. Isn't that true? What? You, you little, you little guy. Yeah, little man's mission. So, a little information about this trans. It is a uh, thousand horsepower rated uh, super stick trans. It's been built three times now. Fifth yeah. Year. Right now, fifth gear is hurt. Too, too many. Shut up. Uh, right now, fifth gear is hurt. Um, there's not a whole lot wrong with the clutch. You know, I don't know what what I'm about to get into. So I guess I could do a little backstory on that, shouldn't I? Yeah, tell them uh, All right, so how it was when he was driving in. So we'll restart here. Um, on the way into Rudy's, we was pulling into Rockingham Dragway. I had to, you know, show my <laughs> show, show how <laughs> how big my horsies is. You know what I mean? Um, rumped on it pretty hard. Went into the track. Clutch felt a little weird. Whatever, you know, it's nothing new. Um, got in there, sat all day. Uh, pulled a truck up on a trailer because it was broke. Uh, got on the way home. So Rockingham is about two hours from us, you know, on the other side of Charlotte. Um, and the clutch, I mean, it, it got to a spot where it would bind up. And I mean, it was just, it was weird. You know, it'd catch halfway and then it would slip a little bit. And then it just stopped. You know, it just like it hung halfway and that was it. It wouldn't move. I could stomp the clutch pedal and it, you know, it wouldn't do anything. Uh, pulled over, pulled the slave cylinder off of it. You know, I think Cody already told you I drove home with no clutch. So I was just roll starting a truck or, you know, just cranking it in gear at stoplights, which is not fun. I do not recommend it. And uh, got home, put a new slave cylinder on it. So I had a new slave cylinder already from when I bought the clutch. And I didn't replace the hydraulics on it. That's not loose. Um, and I don't know. I ain't got no clutch pedal. Typically what you do, I put my truck in neutral. Ah, if you can, stick something down in there. Normally you do it with a gear knob before you pull it out. Nope, almost, almost. All right, so when they're all in line, that's neutral. Um, take something, stuff a rag down in here. That way you're not putting dirt, trash, all kinds of gunk in there. Yeah, you don't want to get no trash in there.
there it's scared to do something get underneath the vehicle i've pulled many transmissions you know done a lot of work in gravel on trailers oh yeah we, we some dirt dirt floor bandits you know and, and done it in some very <laughs> non good places i guess you would say oh yeah in a, in a sawmill floor yeah that was, that was fun all right boys so we just pulled the drive shaft out caravan Smoked in that. It's in the video. Uh, so we're getting ready to pull the cross member, and then we're gonna get out of the way. We got the jack under there already. And we're gonna pull the transfer case and the transmission together. Uh, if we see anything that may help y'all, whatever you're doing, it we'll stop and we'll let you know on that, and then we'll dive into the clutch and see what they say. So the main issue, what we found here, is the uh, ball right here. So on the G56s, whenever you put an aftermarket clutch in, you gotta take the washer and everything out. And apparently it's smart to use Loctite for this thing. But it has boogered up the threads, probably where it was beating around in there with the clutch pressure plate. Um, so I could grab one of them tomorrow. Throat burn feels smooth. It's quiet. Uh, Clutch throw, looks good. Throw this bad boy back together. Do that tomorrow. We also found a uh, no, it was a nice little crack right there. Nah, I knew it was there. So me and mom was out playing in the snow last year, and uh, she told me I couldn't climb a hill. I told her I was like, "You uh, <laughs> sit back, and find out, woman." Um, <laughs> They'll say I climbed a hill, but destroyed the front drive shaft during the process. And uh, if you ever destroy a front drive shaft and like, have to do a complete rebuild, these are just to buy one. RockAuto.com bought it for like 280 bucks. It's all greasable. It's all really nice, uh, high quality. I highly recommend that. All right. 
All right, y'all. So uh, Matt was able to go find the part we need today to slap G56 back in and all that. So we're gonna run over there, help him slap that back in, and go from there. Hopefully everything works good. And for we'll anyone see. wondering where you can get that ball straight from Steve White, he's a uh, big Mopar guy down here, it's the dealership. Anyway, so there's part number, new ball. I think it was like 36 bucks or something like that. And it is in there. Everything else looks good, clutch wise and all that fun stuff, so. Dot, dot, not a lot. Well, listen, if you, if you ain't putting that on everything, <laughs> along with some antiques, you just do it. Jackson, <laughs> yes, you now! Oh, Jesus. Um, so we just got finished putting the trans in there. As you see, we had to fight it. It's always a tight fit getting in there to the uh, pilot bearing. So you see us put the bolts in there, the dowel pins. That way we get in there, rock it back and forth, shimmy it, push it in, kick it, you know, whatever you got to do. Anyway, so uh, we're fixing to wire it back in, throw the cross member in there, put the front drive shaft up. Uh, probably not putting the rear drive shaft in it just because carry bearing is blowed out and we may throw that in. No? No. 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 <laughs> we'll, we'll pull the drive shaft back apart. No worry. Don't you worry about that. This is something we're going down the road today. All right, All right guys. Uh, so as you see, everything went pretty good. Everything went smooth. Uh, only thing different we had to adjust was the throw out on the clutch. Uh, we should have video of that as well. Uh, so other than that, you know, we can go over his truck a little bit. It's a 2011, 2010. 12. 12. 2012. 14. Uh, 6.7. It's got a Fleece 467 second gen swap on it. Uh, built G56, as you've seen. And uh, five position switch tune. Of course, it's, it's got a weight loss program on it. But yeah. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And if you have any questions about anything or. You know what you what you want to see in the future videos or whatnot you drop them in the comments and uh yeah we appreciate it we're gonna throw some sound clips and rolling clips of that thing rolling by because it does sound mint so uh thank you All right, so you want to tell them what you had to adjust? All right, so on the master cylinder for the clutch, there is a adjustable rod on it on the aftermarket one. It comes with Bel Air, it comes with South Bend. Uh, all you do is loosen the jam nut up on it, spin the, or spin the rod a few times, tighten it back down, get it to where you like it, the feel of it. So it was letting out dead at the bottom of the clutch. And it was almost not disengaging, engaging, whatever it's called, whenever I was putting it in gear, so it was still trying to pull. Um, so. Fix that, ready to go now. Now it's ready to party. Yeah.